What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up, pick up where we left off, we have decided, I have decided to go a bit more offensive um, against the Russians because we need to start pushing away some of these enemies on our borders. So let's engage the enemy. Um, but I, I generally do think the best course, course of action is just to maintain my empire in Europe then conquer Britain, because Britain will A, remove an incredibly dangerous enemy, and B, also produce lots of very, very delicious and easy to capture regions in the Americas, because they are just steamrolling me at the minute. <laughs> but nevertheless, they might capture my territories, but I will capture their homes. So, let's deploy... Some of these weak units might be better served in gun positions on the on the wall. Because even though I'm sallying, you can still man guns. You guys might man these guns. So then let's take these units that are all pretty strong. Deploy them out together. We're gonna redeploy where the enemy is. Let's bring you guys out as well. Because they can be they can be over here, they can be over there, so it's just easy just to deploy out. Come on, there we go. it looks like where they're going okay this okay this this is we can we can handle this I can all my guns actually just deploy together in the center Fry core to deploy wide. So ultimately, this is the kind of thing I wanted to see because this lets me get my, lets me bring my firepower to bear. So my demi cannons can just engage at will, whoever, whomever they elect to attack. It's a regiment of horse pushing. Okay, so probably want to take this left wing and push it up a bit more aggressively because it would appear that the enemy is not making the best show out here on the flank there we go, start engaging that regiment of horse, there's a lance, a guard unit, a blend of us shotgunners. You guys stay this side of the line. You men all engage the third lance, a guard. Fusiliers, cavalry mass charge the fusiliers, because fusiliers are squidgy. They do not like being attacked by cavalry. My cavalry attack that regiment of horse. Well, they're not squidgy, but in terms of all of the possible... of all of the infantry types, it's the fusiliers that struggle the most. Okay. Canister shot the militia. Canister shot the hand mortars. Count, charge the Lancer Guards. You men start to pivot because we're about to get a massive bayonet charge. But my fire by rank is doing what it's supposed to do. Should destroy the Fusiliers. You men get out of formation. Actually, you guys attack the Blunderbuss shotgunners. You guys carry on. Eh, fight them. So my Freud Corps reloading. Hopefully they can make ready. There we go. Volleys into the pikemen. And 
another unit of line infantry to be bring to bear. The Vile Dragoons hit the Lancers. So we're going to have to counter charge the Militia. You're hitting the Lancer Guards. You men, Fusiliers have formed square. I mean, my gunners cease fire. Trouble is, the militia, the Streltsy militia, isn't actually that terrible. So, you men form. Well, you eh, pull my cavalry back. this flank, you guys just smash straight into the Grenadiers. Form line. There go the Grenadiers. Where's my general? Let's get him to work. You chaps form square. It's a bit late, but you're still not terribly late. My gunners are in hot pursuit of the militia. Can you attack the grenadiers? You can attack those tro troops there. Get all my infantry to form a new line. The square here is going to do enough damage to the 1st Regiment of Horse. You guys go after the Grenadiers. You guys, please knock out the 4th Grenadier Regiment. There's only a handful of them left. These men are all engaging the Fusiliers. The enemy don't quite know what it is they want to do. we want to do, however, is continue the advance. Go on, knock out the 5th Grenadier Regiment. That would be quite a nice little victory. So my Prushnik horse is fighting the enemy cavalry. You guys have to counter charge to provide some support. You guys go after the ooh, 13th Foot Guards. Nope. Militia, hand mortars, militia. A bit ballsy. Push up the hill. You men secure the hill. You guys push up the flank. Because, yeah, we've got a couple there. Uh... You guys have to get after the hand mortars quickly. Hand mortars are no bueno. Push up. You men retreat. Regiment of horse is still not down. You guys are reloading. Hopefully, you should engage. Oh, hand mortars. Go get them. So good. Okay, that fry core go after the guns. You guys all advance to push the rear of the enemy here. Get away. So you men can jump on the hand mortars. Try and destroy them. You men push up and begin engaging the enemy infantry to the rear. These guys need replenishment when they're done. 
keep pursuing. Can you men retreat? Or withdraw? Artillery ceasefire. Withdraw, reload, re engage. It shouldn't, shouldn't last super long. The gun musketeers are down. Could cavalry charge them, but we've not got many. So let's just let them destroy the 68th Regiment, push them back. Then I can try and get some replenishment on my guys. These are fusiliers, so they're not bad at shooting, but they are when they're completely surrounded. They're dropping like flies. There they go. Back you devils go. Excellent. So yeah, we very much need a bit of replenishment here. We've got some cash to do that with. Back you go. And what I'm hoping for, though, is if I can just pick a few... It doesn't really matter which units. But I'm hoping, after that little loss there, they, they think, you know what, maybe should we chill? No, they're not going to chill. Fine, we will continue to grow and raid your stuff. I can't raid Kronstadt. I can raid Kronstadt. Can I raid that there as well? I can. I've also got a good visibility on what's going on. Okay, get back to port. So that's curtailed there. Any shipbuilding plans they might have could seriously interdict travel between Finland and St. Petersburg, but it looks like they are. Those guys are facing down Swiss, uh, Sweden. Mr. Wendland, yep. Okay, skirmishes. Well, lots of guys are getting over here. It's Georg Guthman, because the French army to the south, but it's only militia. The main effort is getting this army replenished. And I join them up with Mr. Farber, because these guys both land in London. Because otherwise, I do want to knock out France, but. Britain is what I really need to get. So in terms of research, nothing immediate to worry about. Okay, then in the Americas, you guys are just going to hold. You could pursue and destroy, but just hold for now. Let's hit in turn. So we should be due to get 22,000 next turn. That's right, leave, the, leave Greenwich exposed. Let me sail right on in. Ah, they heard me. Uh, I'm going to auto that, because uh, the odds are so heavily in our favour. Back you go. You're going to raid the port? Yeah, and that, sh that ship is probably going to die. <gasps> Don't take Venice, Spain. Although it looks like they're going to. They did. Oh, uh, that's not super great, because that's... We're not currently at war with Spain, but that's another front. So let's hope that their rebels keep them occupied. The Ottomans, the Ottomans just keep uh, this. They're they're continuing to build their strength. Yeah, the main, the critical focus is invading Britain. If we can invade Britain, we'll get a bunch of money. And a bit more freedom to breathe in the um, in the Americas, gain some more um, colonies, and that will feed into wealth, which will then translate to armies at home, and then victory on the continent. Yeah, that's right. Fall back. Well, it looks like they're just going to regroup and attack again. Which, if they do, then very well. Well, not so much, actually, in Warsaw, because our armies are a bit exposed. So I might replenish the army, then recruit some extra infantry.
But what I might do... Louisiana's clearing out some of our ports, which is good, but it also leaves them a bit... They're a bit exposed to the... Uh, British Empire. This Mughal fleet is definitely going to go pick up their army. That Now we are not at war with them. They have the ability to move. But again, it gets them off our back and it gets us the ability, the ability to trade. But we definitely need to get our army into over towards London. Because the London's got a huge tax base. Because of all those towns, unsurprisingly. And it probably means we can maybe... Actually, we'll probably want to demolish Oxford. 14,500. It's not super great. This is the level we're at. So you guys are going there. Oh, well, obviously we've got a massive recruitment program. You men replenish. Build two sloops. Then you're going to go sail across and invade London. You are... Almost at Cuxhaven. Going to recruit another sloop to back you up. Garrison at Warsaw is going to get replenished and then augmented with just two units of line. This garrison to the north is going to be fully replenished. You guys are ready. You guys could probably do with a bit more actual infantry. And then let's upgrade... Yeah, more militia cavalry on the way towards Mr. Guthman. Although, actually, that's all the cavalry you need. Although you are probably going to that guy. Yes, you are. So you guys are going to head towards the French, where they're in pushing into our territory. 5,200. Okay, so... Probably want to rebuild. This government building gives us... 42 hundo. Continue our road building network. I don't really want to build it in Paris. Because I don't want to give their armies an easier chance to run around. You guys can't really go anywhere except stay where you are. So which means you're probably going to die. But if you do, you do. And then we've got 12 hundo to go over to the Americas. Take our weakest unit. Occupy port of pay Get it repaired. You guys carry on replenishing. Recruit some native auxiliary. You're going to build a governor's residence. And I'm probably going to build up into a military governor's barracks. Not necessarily the best idea, but it's the idea we got. Yeah, the main thing is, you guys are replenishing. This port is one turn off. Actually, let's recruit a sloop here and scout. So Dublin, ripe for the taking. Small garrison. What about Edinburgh? Edinburgh is being attacked by Spain. Small force to the north. We've got a garrison here and a Zachary archer. And then London itself... Has a garrison, but not a good one. We could probably land at Newcastle and go south, and also land at Newcastle and go north. Actually, let's just get you... Get you to RTB. Because we're already getting... sloops here. Okay. We get Bavaria, France. Lots of, lots of good recruitment. 1,100, because we're recruiting so many... Um, units. So we're running into a bit of an issue around our army growth is outpacing our economic growth, but only temporarily. Because we are about to make a good a thunder run to London and to Edinburgh simultaneously, which will break the back of the British Empire. It'll take some money to... Oh, well, I need to build up a Munich garrison as well, because Spain's not going to stop. Yeah, if you guys want to try and go for Hungary, because bearing in mind, you do get a garrison... I do get reinforcements from Vienna. Vienna's going to be a tough nut to crack, but I need to... Yeah, I need to... That could do it. 
losing Hungary isn't ideal because then we it creates a bit of a gap which they could push north up towards Breslau and that would be a bit that's a bit vulnerable there. No, I think the plan is still good. Focus on focus on the war against Britain. Take London, take Edinburgh. Push on and take Ireland. Because we can hold against Russia. That I'm more worried about. I'm most, really, I suppose I'm only really worried about Spain if they attack me near Munich and try and drive up through the Alps. That's a bit dodgy. Because right now, I'll get a Munich garrison for sure, but I don't get a... I don't get the garrison I necessarily want. I might get a bunch of armed... Um, just armed peasants and so on, which isn't really good. Yeah, you're going to pick up that army. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you declare war on me to get Iceland. But it does mean a state of war will exist between us and the Mughal Empire. Yeah you, yeah, you hit the plantations, that's fine. You guys just, just hold it. So... First of all, you guys aren't ready to move, so but we've got no choice. Balthazar Faber, get aboard. You should. Okay, you want to go that way? About it, sure. <laughs> Say it's Liverpool. Run! Hold on to it for now. And it's for no other reason than I just want to bring Leopold. He's not ready to help. But I want to bring him across. Ooh, Royal Navy ship. Okay. Get into Liverpool as well. I want them to be here. I want... I need more mass. And that's what I want. Like I said, I know this army's not in good shape, but he can help. First thing to do, actually, send one of his cavalry detachments forward to, dis to break Cambridge. So when I take the city, it will be... Uh, it will be... Well, they won't be quite so grumpy. But yeah, they're, they're on their way, but mostly cavalry and weak infantry, so that's probably still good enough. So the Zazars can't really push. You're just sat there waiting. Sweden is a concern, but it's mostly militia. Oh, because it's from the forces in Milan. Let's get two lines of infantry, but then let's save it, because I need to take Mr. Farber and attack London. I need to attack London, destroy the university, destroy the College of Divinity, repair all the buildings, repair my army. It's, it's, it's expensive. That's that's what it comes down to. It's not going to be helped when we lose Iceland. But at least if they take Iceland, then that should placate a little bit. Ultimately, ultimately this British force here isn't necessarily going to be a massive blocker. So we're going to roll these guns up to this section of high ground and fire over our line. Form a solid right flank, and again, she rainy shenanigans. My militia are going to push the left flank. Got my cavalry ready to rock and roll. Okay. Just leg it. Get up into the the enemy's grill. There we go. And then you guys push up as well. You guys push up. Whoa! Guns push up. Again, this sometimes happens when I just... Just too quick. 
Okay, militia push up there. Well, I, I'm just pretty much just being sloppy around the the base, really. Okay, a couple of losses to their mortar crew. Push the right flank. Don't need my guns to be ahead of my line because we are they're positioned above my infantry get my infantry my left flank to advance the enemy force is a sort of clustering towards the center okay, pivot my guns just a little bit so we're engaging their mortars I mean ultimately they can't really shoot at much because we are we're just too close My gunners, Anuba. So we're beginning to slaughter their troops. Swiss guards, Man, pretty nice. And there's the ninth light hussars, or the ninth light horse, comma hussars. Keep the cavalry running. Get my dragoons in. You men chase those hussars because they're not they're not dead yet. Gunners pound the centre of gravity there. Got cavalry charge. Some horse grenadier guards, they're a bit of a concern. My militia to charge in, get my infantry to push up. Hit their militia. Knock them off balance, pivot my infantry to respond to this. Shattered, just broken. Get my uh, militia here. Take position. Okay, there we go. Get my gav cavalry to push through the woods. Get my cavalry out of the way. There we go. The actual enemy army is starting to crumble. My marines started tussling with the enemy cavalry. Their infantry is still here in the centre, but obviously we've just got my infantry just pouring volley after volley after volley into them. So their marines out of commission. We don't have to focus on Uh, destroying units in the field. We just need to shatter them just to make sure they don't come back. They're pot-shotting against the Hussars all the way back here rather than engaging the 30th Regiment. Okay, you men redeploy. Redeploy. This Regiment of Foot push up to hit the 30th Regiment. Cavalry hit the Hussars, everyone else is engaging in that regiment. Switch our guns to engage into the trees. Should get you guys to also charge the 30th, because you can bayonet it, charge them as well. The foot guard, the marines have come back, the cavalry have returned. The 35th have gone. Retarget the guns again. Thirtieth Regiment, doing a they're sticking around. They are being sturdy. I was going to say the Swiss Guards weren't actually shattered. Okay, 
charge into the back of the 29th. Come on, you guys should knock out the 30th pretty ricky tick. When they do, let's get our infantry selected. Charge into the rear of the 29th. Get my guns to engage different targets. You men hit that unit of garrison line that returned. Yeah, good on the good on the British redcoats. They stuck around. You men push up, shattered. Chase down the Marines, the Prushnek horse. Go hit the firelock arm citizenry, but that looks like ah. The 35th remain. Obviously, and the 34th, but there we go, they're down. Go on, Val Dragoons, hit the 35th. Cease the guns firing. Cease the guns from firing. Make them cease firing. That's the 35th down. Well, soon to be down. All the other Union flags are collapsing. So probably going to focus chiefly on uh, restoring London more so than my troops. Because I'd sooner get the city under control and then push up to Scotland than keeping my army in perfect shape. This army is still in okay shape. There we go. Nice. That's London secured. So, actually... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, well, they don't actually hate us that much. Get rid of the College. College of Divinity. Well, I'm going to need to get rid of it at some point. Let's repair Somerset House. Let's repair the Observatory. Let's repair the Military Academy. So let's dispatch the cavalry, Leopold's cavalry, around southern England to secure the ports. Excellent. Mr. Barber, can you leave the city? And Mr. Eisler can occupy it. Yeah, minus 13. They're not super happy about us. Uh, it should get be should get better. And then Mr. Farber can spend the rest of my income advancing up towards Edinburgh, which they have a much more traditional army in Edinburgh. But still, that is quite a blow. And we're still only getting ten grand. Italian states and Persia. Oh, it's because of this. Can I cancel building those two things so I can rebuild the port to the south? Mr. Guthman can auto-attack. Well, I'm going to auto-resolve auto, auto -resolve that fight against the militia because... Oh, okay, actually. Stay where you are. Cancel that. Repair that, because they're just going to raid it again. Unless... Chill out. Well, fair enough. My Lord. You could probably land and attack Dublin if this force leave the city. It's still growing in strength. Got cavalry over here as well, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's probably going to be enough, actually. That is enough. Okay, you men, get to Brest. We can attack the British here. Okay, Cologne. Okay, yeah, okay, right. Oh, well, yeah, we're rebuilding our. Rebuilding some of our incredibly wealthy towns that have very low tax rates or lower tax rates. Cambridge is damaged, don't care. Cambridge is going down, we're about to get rights of man. 
gives us some extra good stuff. Plus one management for justice administration, extra town wealth. 11,000 income, which isn't terrible. We're probably going to lose Iceland for, to this army, which isn't worth a huge amount to us, so I'm just going to let him do it. We will be taking back Copenhagen at some point, which is worth a lot more, and they have to actually keep it tax-free because it's not... They can't afford the university. Lol. Okay, let's spend the last bit of cash upgrading the tended farms just to boost Prague. Good. Let's hit N10. If the Marathas can hold off for one more turn from attacking us, that would be excellent. It looks like the British have abandoned Dublin, but actually it looks like they're going to sail. <gasps> so, I hope... If there's no one in Dublin, that would be almost perfect. Yeah, they're going to go blockade our ships. We're not going to stop them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, carry on raiding. Carry on raiding France. That force. Nope. That force I've just built is going to go and push. They demand Hungary. They're not going to get it. We may get attacked by the Ottomans. But if we can bring London into the fold, push on and take Edinburgh and Dublin pretty quick. Oh, that's lovely. I love that they've pulled a large force away from my cities to raid a town with nothing in it. Nice one. They've turned up and gone, let's go burn some shit. Oh, I shouldn't really have sworn there, but let's go burn some stuff. And there's <laughs> just some bricks and some planks on the floor. And they're like, ah, oh, shucks. The rushes building up their strength. They're going to come at us. Take your time, Russia. The longer you take, the better. Now you're going to get around the rear. Ah, don't get over to Gdansk. Probably want to recruit some militia there just to make sure they don't catch us on the hop and screw us over. Yeah, if we knock out Britain, America is ours, effectively. So then just keep on island hopping. And, well, not, well America isn't ours, because obviously there's still France, but the Mughals didn't attack us either, which is good. But yeah, we, it, it means, it at least means the Caribbean islands are a lot less of a problem to take out. And I know there's that British army still on my port. Still in my plantation in, in Santo Domingo, but I don't mind. New men go up and hit that. Chomp. Just get rid of them. Replenish. Build a new... Recruit a new Pandora unit. Pandora, Pandora. Pick up that Fusilier unit on the way. Get over to Brest. They still don't like us. I don't want to exempt them from tax, but I might have to. I mean, that's not really a quick win. Pleasure Gardens. Let's upgrade to a church school. Exempting you from tax helps partially. Okay, let's recruit a bunch of sloops. So these three cavalry units can then recombine back to London. Although we can start to bolster our troops in England right now. But ideally, you guys replenish. We get London under control. 
two units to go and attack up towards Edinburgh. There's not a lot else we can really do. Oh, I didn't pick a new technology, but national debt's a pretty good one. I'm going to want to upgrade some modern universities soon as well. This army pushed to about here because they definitely will go up and around here and they will go down and around here but oh, oh I don't know let's try and see if we can nope what if we trade as well I had a bit of cash nope they're not interested okay yeah one more turn to your over actually can you guys scout Ireland Unoccupied, but we can't really get in there. Declan Howe and his weak fifth rate is in the port, blocking it. Actually, so I can use you to get to Bristol. That frees up one cavalry unit. Horn, Zollen, Curassier, get over to London. Still doesn't really help. I mean, you're plus one happiness, plus one treasury, plus one management, minus one happiness, lower order, lower classes. Okay, I might get you across. Just eh. why well, try and get someone who's well. At least this guy doesn't overtly annoy the lower classes, because that might help us out in the long run. Industrialization is high. The upset is high. That is. Still converting to Protestantism because they've got an agent here. Sir, a advanced, but not too far. 600, 600 isn't enough to build a coaching in. But that's okay. Lots of roads going down. Can you guys just hold just trying to really really drill down where I need to spend my money what are you you're a fusilier unit I say I'm drilling down but I'm just gonna blip <laughs> yeah, a bit of a loss there but ultimately you need you need reinforcements Ooh, actually but somewhere where I'm building something. I want to get that bad boy repaired. Although I don't think as many places I can really do anything about it. Get rid of metal roads just to try and drop some immediate gains. Get Paris back up and earning. Okay, so next time I'm going to get naval architecture advances. I'm not really bothered by that. I probably want to then get you just hard down the industrial tech tree. Yeah, if I can get more sloops, I can pull more cavalry back to London. Bring them under control. If they move troops out of Waterford, I believe it is, on the south coast of Ireland. Ooh, Spain is creating quite a little uh, Italian empire there. I don't like it. This is why I need to expand in the Americas <laughs> quicker than I currently am. But ideally, there's that. Well, the problem is Britain's got a whole army sat there in Cuba. So wherever I move, they can attack wherever I've just left. So I may as well just stay where I am until I conquer Britain. Then I can get my ships to move. My troops around. Then I can... Once I destroy Britain, I can move my army back to Cuba take it and then start to just slowly go after one territory at a time. It's 
frustrating that I have to be at war with Russia. Because they are just adding cost and complexity. Hey, they're just going to straight out attack me. What a bunch of idiots. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. So they've got remnants of this force, which will be nice to destroy. Plus. This force, they have no guns. Shit, it's going to be straight up. Can they get onto the walls fight? And the answer will be no. We're going to push them back. They're going to have no infantry left. And then their infantry are going to die. But then the cavalry are going to get depleted, sorry. As they withdraw. Come on, come on. We have guns, so if we wanted to make our own... Ooh, even better, actually. We have our own little breach. So because they're over there, that means that that's where they are. But because they only have one way in... I'm going to take four infantry units. And just build a delicious little cavalry death trap. I don't need infantry positions there. Good. Okay, let's group all those guys together. Get my gunners to deploy. And I can deploy in a little bunker because there's no harm. Or do I deploy one straight ahead and then one at an angle? Fire it will off. Okay, but then the rest of it is line up troops on the walls, particularly sections of the wall that they're going to have to run past to get to the breach. That is critical. But yeah, in the grand scheme of things, they are going to be really struggling because the only way they've got to get in, well, the way they're going to try and get in is bad. I'm sure I deployed you. Then all my cavalry form up. I might deploy three, then take one of these units and get them up towards... Not sure where, actually. Maybe up here? But yes, the enemy... If you've got a breach in your walls, the enemy is like a crack fiend in trying to run, trying to go for it. They cannot resist a breach. Like right now, you can see they're all like most of them. All of these guys are actually going to run past this section of the wall here and go along here to the breach. And ultimately that's good, because it's easier for us to destroy them there than it is... Well, we will be able to more efficiently destroy them if they go for the breach rather than attempt to actually scale the walls. And it also means we get some free kills from the... the guns on the wall. Like, these units just get free... kills. Like that unit may end up just routing completely because of this Freukor unit. Those Dragoons, they've mounted? Well, oh, they've dismounted. Lovely. They're all the way over here. Well, this is going to be bad for the enemy, but great for us. And if you guys form up, Nope, some guy is stuck. But then what you end up doing is redeploying your guys. Because when they leave one part of the wall, you don't need to keep it protected. Like, for example... If these guys are out, or when these guys are shattered, none of these guys need to be here anymore. Concerned because of their exposed flank. Why would you feel concerned? 
To be fair though, they aren't actually... Sometimes you have to turn them fire it will off and on again just to make them realise what they need to do. Although because... Okay, there we go. Now they're going to do it. There you go. There's, <laughs> there's 60 men. Walking past single file. How cute. But yeah, I want them to start trying to get through this breach. Because as soon as the cavalry come in, they're just going to get hit by stakes and just a whole lot of mess. Because yeah, they're not going to get they're not going to get in through the gates. You guys have suddenly decided you're going to walk single file now for some yet to be understood reason. So like you can march over here. You guys aren't firing, you guys aren't stepping up properly because you've got no one to shoot at. That's quite a common trend. Usually when your fire at will doesn't work, it's probably because you've got well they will snap to it once they've got a target to shoot at. But here comes our first Chaps trying to t trying to uh, take our city. So if you guys fire well off and then on again, I want you guys to man the cannons and fire at the enemy cavalry, especially that unit. They've got three guys. They're going to be caught in a crossfire of grape shot, and it's going to be beautiful. Yep, there they go. It's so efficient. Especially now the cavalry are trying. That's what you want more than anything. Yeah, they've been cut down before they got to my guns. But as soon as we're about to see what I wanted to see, the cavalry try and get in. These dragoons have been cut to pieces. Two cavalry units. I wish they sent them all in. That would have been great. So there's a couple of units back here. They probably won't commit till they're forced to. Nope, oh, they're shattered. Fire the guns! Is that the cavalry? Yes, it is! Hello. How are you doing? So if you're cavalry, where do you go? The answer? Nowhere. These guys are holding off, probably because they're shooting at this thin line here and they're not killing as many people as they could. There goes the second light horse. The marines have come back. They're broken. They've got into a gunfight with my infantry on the walls. That's their dragoons. <laughs> so you guys are doing what you should be doing. You're firing your cannons. Apart from that though, this is going to be a bit a bit repetitive because ultimately I'm not going to oh let's watch these cavalrymen charge in yep 
here. Technically the smart thing to do would probably be to turn off the guns, turn off the infantry and just let them charge into my stakes, but nah, it's not so fun. That and I want to try and gain some experience with my units. Something you definitely should be aware of, I've tried this. If you put a, put one right here, for example, they seem to just jump over it. So you have to place them a decent position, a decent way back from the breach to work for sure. Some Cossacks coming in, and the second light horse coming back again. Finally, they're wavering over there. There goes the Dragoons, now they're going to aim at the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons. What will happen though, is as they run out of forces to attack, some of the units that are currently a bit static will just come back again. We'll go on, hit my line. Hit the, hit the stakes. Ooh, what a canister shot! That's why I'm, I'm a big fan of just making them attack ground somewhere where I know they're going to go. Is it as optimised? No. Does it need to be? No. Because, I mean... Yeah, it means you can enjoy more of what's going on. But let's speed up time again, because... Uh, if no one's coming in through the breaches, then this is going to be a bit... Where are you going? Oh, you're the unit that's... You walked all the way around this way rather than down and along, huh? So what the AI should be... Oh, these are reinforcements coming in. Yeah, these. this is the weak army that's coming in that we fought last time. It's a regiment of Grenadiers. Yeah, you've become sucking up a bunch of ammunition from these guys, though. Same here with you, actually. I'm probably just going to cease fire. Fire it will off with you guys. There's no point trying to engage or skirmish with infantry like that. So much good slaughter. Same with you guys. Well, you guys are a bit different because you've got some guys at least almost point blank. For the most part, most. Like this unit, when they were firing their cannons over here, that wasn't a problem because they weren't actually expanding any of their own ammunition to do it. That's where the Grenadiers have come from over here. Oh, his shotgun has made it all the way in and there's nine of them left. Here comes the sixth Grenadiers. They were seemingly aware that their force was going to be destroyed so they brought in the army that was already knackered. First into canister shot. Lost 50 men. And more continue to be lost. I mean, okay, right. So I'm gonna let's. Uh, in, so, in theory. What happens after these guys attack things? These are the only ones that are actually trying to get in. These fusiliers that obviously aren't going to be here for very long. And these foot guards. Oh god. Lethal. Okay, now who are you going to send in? Because you have to send someone. Okay, right, now is this the next 
So all these infantry that were sat back here doing nothing, they've started moving. You guys are... okay, you guys fire at will. On! So now you guys can start to attack the enemy. So the standard MO is that they will put grappling irons up, they will attack, quote unquote, and then they will run through the breach anyway. That's generally what happens. Garrison guards, militia, general's bodyguard, marines, infantry. So, yeah, so this is what happens. So they go to scale the wall and then they just go, ah, we're going to go, ooh, actually, that's the fir that's a first time in a very long time I've actually seen infantry do infantry things. A lot of the time the enemy will make they will make it look like they want to assault the walls but then they actually don't that's that's that doesn't happen very often folks it's just very nice of them to pick the bit that's guarded by my the first foot guards what's going on here you guys have your repels, they're there. Hey, now they're going to actually try and attack me normally. What madness is this? Okay, right, let's actually move you guys. Yeah, these guys are also trying to attack. They finally decided, hey, I'm actually proud of the AI. Now they're actually doing what they should have been doing from the get-go. Fighting the guard musketeers, you guys cease fire. Those marines are a bit dodgy, but they've lost so many. Same as these expat infantry versus my foot guards, we should be okay. These go ooh, you guys need support. Okay, you guys run the gauntlet. You men throw back those marines. More men climbing there. Okay, let's do a breakout. All my cavalry get involved. Because these guys are actually starting to win. Let's get my general over here just to give them a bit of. Can you hear the cheer? Get this Freikorps line over here as well. Also means they'll be in a good position once the enemy units break. We should be able to destroy more of their troops as they flee. Okay, these guys have made it across, so you guys get back to your previous plan. So you guys go that way.
you man get over here to help ease the burden. Yeah, now they're starting to try and scale the walls. Start Ooh, you guys have to go this way because they're starting to... Hey, militia aren't terrible. Okay, you may push the militia from one direction, you may push the militia from the other direction. First Grenadier Regiment soon to be down. Get over here right now. You can get over here to help fight the Russians. You man hit the marines in the backside if you can path yourself around the fortification. Because I mean it is a, just a massive hunk of concrete. And militia have broken. Garrison guards are probably going to rout the Val Dragoons. Go get the general's bodyguard. My cuirassier. Get over here. Commit my general because we're gonna wanna. We're gonna wanna mop up. So you men fix the grenadiers so my light cavalry can go get them. You guys go after that marine unit. You guys go after that expat unit. This unit did fantastically well. They've held the five men. That does not happen very often. are going to continue. You're going to hit those enemy guard musketeers. You're going to keep attacking the malicious destrilitzi. Fire it will off. Chase down the expats. You guys chase down the marines. There we go, they're defeated. Good, good, good. That's a good win. Lost more men than we'd like, but again, at least that's a few key armies destroyed and we've already got two units ready to the rear. So we can combine troops together and then we can augment the garrison. Scallywags. Scallywags, the lot of them. The Mughals have resisted attacking me once more for another turn, which again is just good. Let's take naval architectures. Good. Okay, don't go on. Do you carry on doing that? I think you probably do. Okay, so here. Combine some of our weakest units together and then you men get in eight grand not a lot especially we have to spend two grand rebuilding the army but england now likes us not enough to tax them but they like us and then let's send a sloop to examine dublin oh big royal navy presence What I can do, though, is take... If I could pull that cavalry unit back to London and pull... Oh, I've got my militia. Haven't I? I do. Okay, pull the militia out, because they need to support the main force. The Dragoons 
Okay, no, we definitely want to make it keep get get another turn of of uh, non rebellion going. We're not going to repair this yet because that'll add extra unhappiness as far as um, in industry goes. Eventually, I want Cambridge to be a craft workshop, so I don't want to upgrade it yet, and I don't want to build it into a coaching inn because we've already got a theatre. Chap school is another school. Let's get rid of that. Okay. We want to keep upgrading these buildings here. We can repair these buildings here. I don't think they do much. I mean, the Ad Marines and Artillery Unit, Artillery Recruitment, naturally, but they're not really what we need. Fundamentally, what I could do with... It's just more line infantry and stuff that can stay behind and garrison the garrison the town. And then bring you guys to bear. What I can also do is move a sloop out. Get Sigmund Peters. Embark with your impressive army there. sail out of port attack Dublin you can't take it easy because there's nowhere to land Belfast isn't yet de developed but then you can sail around to Newcastle which might provoke some of the British to manoeuvre but Sigmund Peters could demand the surrender of Dublin secure Waterford and then that's suddenly Edinburgh looking very exposed one more turn till we get Coke Blast Furnace which is handy. Good listener. The regulars are going to go over to Mr. Guthman. That's okay. We're going to drop recruitment on one more unit of infantry in Munich to get ready for the inevitable Spanish. Okay, yes, they rioted last turn. So if we do this this turn, it breaks the cycle. Okay, let's hit end turn. Oh, I know, Britain. Bad times. I mean, that's forced our hand. There is a chance, though, that I can take over... If I take over Dublin and then conquer... Um, and then conquer Edinburgh, that should make a lot of the British resentment go away. But I've got an army within range of Edinburgh, so I may as well move and siege the city. The Ottomans again advancing within an inch of looking like they want to take the city. It's very tempting, once I take Britain, to figure out what I do with those armies. And I think what I would definitely do is probably push to towards take Yelgava and Vilnius and advance push the Russians back, and then force them to seek peace. Yeah, they've managed to sneak around the rear, but that's okay. They're just going to do some raiding, which is more of a frustration than anything. So Louisiana's helping to clear us out. But yes, this is going to be this is going to be pretty pivotal if we can knock out Great Britain. Then suddenly we're going to start having a good chunk more cash. Although we're definitely losing cash now that Britain's blockading our port. Port located the Rostock. Yep, sure is. Demand the surrender of Dublin because there's no one in here. Send the cavalry unit south, an infantry unit to secure Waterford. Build a sloop, repair the governor's barracks. Sigmund Peters advanced to the north. I don't think you need to be occupied. No, you do not. Britain can now be taxed. Ideally, I would like to send both of these armies northward. But I'm definitely not going to be able to. It 
minus minus three is actually not that bad. Yeah, it's not great. Hmm. So what do you need to be left behind? I mean, the minus two isn't bad either. Militia, get back. Minus one's okay. That means you'll just throw a strop. But you men push up to Edinburgh. Leopold. Ah, you're not actually... You can't actually get... You can't get close enough. So let's make sure that our armies stay together more than anything. Let's repair Liverpool. Upgrade the church school, because again, part of it is going to be getting rid of religious unrest and adding religious happiness. Could probably do with the coaching in, in the short term. Oxford, Cologne, got a new government building again. That's always handy. That's frustrating that they managed to get behind us. You guys are about to get attacked by the Russians, it would appear. Although I wonder. Sometimes it's worth just punting across. <laughs> it's worth punting across things like that. Because there we go. Suddenly, from being a, 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 um, a front in danger, we've now turned into a nice little learner. Lovely. So Wismar has gone straight on to machine tools. Again, which is pretty good. Docks down that recruitment cost, which is really big. Let's head into him one more time. God, I've definitely run over. Uh, if you don't do anything, Britain. Oh, you idiots. Britain's. If you. Okay, it's still Britain's turn. I mean, please move your army a away from Edinburgh. Because then we're going to. Oh, Britain! Britain! I don't know if those armies are close enough to reinforce. I think they are. So it's not as massive a balls up as it may have been. Hmm. The Ottomans carry on building up their strength, which is fine. My economy is groaning under the weight of the military might that it has to support. Oh, are you going to try and attack us this time? Mm -hmm. Fancy it. Yeah, if I can knock out Britain, then well, those armies need to be deployed to fight against another European threat. And that's probably going to be Russia. Or some more, well, I don't know, actually. It'll be whoever's next. Because the Russia piece we're at peace with... Spain I'm at peace with. It's kind of like, okay, who's next, amigo? I mean, I'm at war with the Ottomans, so maybe I can start to push out into the Balkans, but then again, the Balkans has got a lot of not particularly valuable territories that are quite exposed. The fronts aren't so great. But then again, you know, taking the Balkans is handy. It would help bottle up the Spanish, Spaniards in Vienna. And it also... Uh, actually, it would be quite handy. Take Athens. Get a, get a better access to the Mediterranean than we currently have. Then jump over and take Cairo. That would be, pre would be pretty handy, Dandy. I think Venice only lives because they own Sardinia. Yeah, raiding Spanish ports. Understandably, of course. Money, money, money. So, I'm going to want a gunnery school. Oh, is it in Paris where my best artillery building is? It is. <laughs> nice. You guys combine. You guys are replenished. Could push against the French, but then we'd be have a front with Spain. I don't want any more frontage with Spain. Not yet. Calais. Let's get a sloop over to that port, although there's nothing really can really do. 
But the main thing is this. They might have goofed quite significantly. Can move my infantry back up to Sigmund Peters. Mr. Farber, if you march from the furthest across. Okay, you do get some reinforcements, but not very many. You definitely don't get this army. You get this one. Which we can handle. If you go over here and attack. Does that even... Whoa, okay, don't attack from him. Mr. Farber, attack. But what I might even do is take a militia unit out. Over to Mr... Over to Leopold. Okay, this is going to be a bit of an army reconstitution here. Because we're going to be taking our... We were taking a bunch of stuff from one army to beef up the main force. Because Mr. Farber is going to be the one to take the city. We want to make a few breaches. Make our way in. Hey, James Whitston tried to assassinate my commander. That's not going to happen. So, okay, so we can re repair Birmingham, hop over to the Americas. Actually, let's keep upgrading you to the civil building, because ultimately, once once Britain's been annihilated, taking Cuba will be easy. Sugar and coffee. Not currently making any of it, because you've got my sugar plantation. So, okay, so now we'll just mop up the remnants of them. Rebuild, replenish. To be honest, could probably stand to attack. You are trading all of your exports. But probably not if I end up building all of that. 18 grand next turn will be on. Although, I need to rebuild uh, Scotland. So, ignore all of this. Hop up to Edinburgh. So again, attacking from Balthazar Farber rather than Leopold Eisler. Because for whatever reason, his... He, he can move further and it's resulting in more men being able to attack. That doesn't, hmm. Either way, we're going to fight with this force because it doesn't bring in the massive force here in the port. But looking at the timer, we're definitely, definitely, definitely going to win the episode here. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the British Empire. Cheers everyone.